Hey everybody, this is Mike Deal, AIT 1203 Mechanical Installation with a second uh, tutorial for Lab 1, um, our hand tools, okay? Uh, one of the things that uh, we kind of fleshed out in the first few students that have done Lab 1 is the fact that there's some uh, folks that are a little fuzzy on print reading, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, what, I, what we're using in our lab is a very simple, uh, basic blueprint but it does have significant details, very common details that you'll run across that you need to be aware of, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the, I wanna focus in first on this part of the drawing. This is a, uh, a uh, drawing of the actual piece of metal that you'll be working with when you come to lab, okay? So uh, it's, it, this is our lengthwise uh, portion of the material. This would be the width, okay? And of course, over here will be the thickness of our material. This would be the thickness, the length, and the width. Now, some folks thought that perhaps this was the length and this was the width. No, the four inch is the length, and the inch and a half, as depicted here, uh, is the width. Okay? So um, you'll see these different holes here. These are the holes that you're going to be drilling, and each one are designated A1, B1, C1, up through E1. Okay? And these are the center points at which they are drilled. Now, uh, you'll notice also right here, this symbol right here is uh, a reference or origin point, okay? This is the point with which all of these measurements and all of these, uh, these uh, markings will be made, okay? So in other words, if I'm measuring uh, a particular distance from this hole to here, okay, then when I don't make all the other ones, I want to be on this same reference point. I don't want to jump over here and kind of backtrack because I guarantee you that will throw your measurements off, no matter how close it may seem. So we always want to use a reference edge and a reference corner right here. It's one of the things that you're going to mark when you first come into the lab, okay, and work on, this, work on your, uh, your project, okay? So we'll always be able to reference everything from the X and the Y coordinate. Now, that's another thing I want to talk about as we're looking here. Uh, this is our X and our Y coordinate. Now, how does that come into play? Let me slip over here. And this is on our hole table, okay? What that tells us is that X and Y, like we've used in uh, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, you have your X coordinate, your Y coordinate. And, and in robotics, we didn't have a Z coordinate. We're not going to use that in this class. But you're, you're going to use your two coordinate system and it tells us that hole A1 based on my X dimension. Now remember, X runs horizontally, okay? We're gonna run in horizontally from our reference point, 0.5 inches or half an inch. So this is our reference edge right here for, the, for this side, and we're gonna come in a half an inch, okay? Now, B1, likewise, is going to be coming from my reference point. This one always, always go back to the same reference point, two inches in and C1 is three and three eighths and so forth. Then we drop down in D1, both uh, come in an inch and a quarter, and then in two and three quarters of an inch. So those are gonna be our X dimension. We also have the Y dimension we have to take in consideration. And so we go up our Y dimension this way, and, we t and from that point, we measure one and a, an eighth of an inch up our Y coordinate, okay? So from this reference line right here, this edge, we're gonna go up an inch and an eighth for A1, then B1 is gonna be an inch and an eighth, and C1 will be an inch and an eighth. All three of these holes will be on the same plane, okay? They'll be, their center lines will be all in the same line, okay? You drop down D uh, <clears throat> for D1 and E1, their Y dimensions are three eighths of an inch. So we're gonna have a, two holes that are a little bit closer to this reference edge about three eighths of an inch, okay? And uh, finally, uh, our description of our hole, it tells us the diameter, the nominal diameter of the bit we're to use. Those are in fractions, and you're gonna have to convert these, excuse me, these are in decimals, and you're gonna have to convert these to fractions, okay? So our 0.25 is gonna tell us that it's a quarter inch bit. We're drilling a through hole. Now, I covered through holes as opposed to blind holes uh, in the lecture, so you should be familiar with that, okay? So you've got your quarter inch through hole, and then you got the rest of the dimensions. It tells you what bit you're going to be using, okay? And of course, the lab manual is going to go step by step for you as well. So anyway, this is a, like I said, just a, a quick tutorial on basic uh, blueprint reading as far as what you'll be doing in the lab. Other than that, uh, we will see you in the lab when you come in. Find me or one of the instructors if you have any questions. We'd be glad to clear anything up with you. So other than that, uh, look forward to seeing you in the lab, and we'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.